Cool, thank you. Here we go, everybody. Welcome back okay. to your daily dose and welcome to our first cruise video in so very long. We gotta park first. Yeah. Any guesses of how much parking is? I'm gonna say like 62. Yeah, it's probably like 60 bucks. 60 today. bucks, 60 bucks. We'll find out. We'll see. I'm so excited. Yes. Credit card right here, chip. Sixty-eight dollars to park. We were both okay, wrong no just by a couple dollars, but sixty-eight dollars. You do. Heck to the yeah, everybody. We haven't been on a cruise since April. It is time. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. If you guys could do me a favor real quick, go ahead and a thumbs this video. And if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. I've been slacking on the cruise content. We've been uh, traveling elsewhere. But we're finally back on a cruise ship. A Royal Caribbean ship. I've actually already been on this ship, so uh, we already know some stuff about it. We're going to be doing a lot more different things than last time. And we actually are joined with Laura this time. And Laura hasn't been on a cruise ship since our last cruise together. Which was? That was in 2019, and that was on the Disney Dream, which was so much fun. A long time ago. A long time ago. Um, however, we are doing some things a little bit differently because we did have some troubles um, booking this cruise. We could not get a COVID test um, in our area, and we didn't order it in time to actually get it shipped to us, so it was going to be proctored by a doctor because we kind of did book this cruise a little bit last minute. So. We actually have to get a COVID test here. So we actually don't know if we're cruising right now because you have to test negative. And the other thing is that the, the test was $100. $105 <laughs> for a cotton swab. Kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Kind of ridiculous. Um, it's the one thing I really wish that um, cruise ships would change. I understand why the process is, you know, to get a COVID test so everyone's negative and whatnot. But it's the one thing that I would love to be changed now. Just, I don't know, maybe just be vaxxed and whatnot. More, more affordable. <laughs> yeah, hopefully uh, we're negative because we don't know right now if we're cruising. I don't know, we might we'll have COVID. See. Who knows? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. And I think this is going to be a packed cruise because this uh, parking lot was actually pretty pretty full coming on in here. But regardless, we got to go get our COVID test down below. We uh, had a schedule of time here. It's, it was really simple. Just Google um, COVID test at Royal Caribbean's port and whatnot. But we will find out soon. And, and then we board. Then we board. There's already people on board. I can see uh, we did have a late boarding. But what do you say? Let's go get this COVID test. I also kind of figured it would be neat to document this COVID experience or like the COVID testing at the cruise port because I actually don't know how it works. And if you have to get one here, now, now you're gonna know. But it's kind of nerve wracking because are we gonna be able to cruise? We'll find out. I think we're gonna see a pretty packed cruise. And also, I don't even think I told you what ship we're going on. We're back on the Independence of the Seas. One of the best deals you can get for Royal Caribbean here at Port Canaveral, Independence of the Seas. I think I found the COVID testing. It's right here, COVID testing, LLC.com. It's outside in the open. I think we get a text message when uh, we get a result. Here we go. Hopefully we're allowed to cruise today. This takes about uh, 15 minutes, so we'll find out in probably about a half hour or so. Really simple, just get in line and get tested. I can't wait till they get rid of this, honestly. But I know why it's here. Don't worry. I know why it's here. It's just, you know, so, I don't know. Out. Oh, what is this? Uh, it's basically name, email, date of birth, and phone number. Okay. And then they're going to circle positive or negative. So cool. this is very official. Well, I have no symptoms. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the good news, they make it really simple and fast. I mean, not a lot of people do this option because I believe obviously a lot like I normally do. I do it beforehand. It just wasn't in the cards this time, unfortunately. We're next to get tefted, tested. They are literally the free tests that the government gave us. The ones that we took yesterday and we tested negative. Yeah, so they should be negative. We're good. Um, but we're just paying $100 to be told that we're negative. Love that. <laughs> Not really. It's fine. Not really. Here we go. Ooh, that's fun. Go, Laura, go. Go, Laura, go. That was fun. <laughs> uh, my nose. It does tickle. Now, before boarding, we did kind of just want to make it clear, like, at least my opinion is, you know, I, I, I just, I want to see the COVID testing go. Like, I understand why it's here. I just, you know, I'm, I'm ready to move on. And I'm, I know a lot of you guys might have some different opinions, but comment down below. Are you guys ready to see COVID tests go on cruise ships? Are you still a little bit worried? Whatever your opinion is, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm here to kind of have a discussion down below. 
Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm ready to move on and you know, yeah. Um, I say if it's required that it should just be included with your cruise price. You know? That would be nice. That would be nice. But yeah. I know there's cheaper ways, but this is the only way that we could do it. Yeah. We're going to find out in 15 minutes. Hopefully we can cruise. I hope so. Now Laura is doing something that I never do. She's actually checking a bag because believe it or not, I fit everything in my backpack and it's a brick. You guys have it so easy. You know, us girls, we have so much stuff. <laughs> Our boarding group isn't until uh, one. We are gonna try to sneak on a little bit earlier to see if we can do that. But I think they're a little bit strict on uh, the time. And look at how many people are here. This is gonna be a pretty packed cruise. More packed than I'm used to, actually. All you have to do is show them your room number and you drop it off and it will magically be by our room. Cool. Believe it or not, this is the first time I'm actually showing you guys this. And a surprise, we are negative. Woo! It's time to board. What a relief. Just kind of a nerve-wracking experience and um, yeah, very simple honestly, but just rather wish it was gone. We understand, but let's go cruise. Let's, let's go. go cruise. Time to go. <laughs> Sails away. Without doubt, a lot more people here. I'm curious to see how long it's actually going to take us to get on board. Our time starts now. I'm going to time it. I did want to mention as well, if you guys aren't even vaccinated, you still can't cruise to this day. So, I don't you know how long. You no, can you on the Margaritaville one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, on Royal. I feel like Royal, they're pretty strict. Yeah. They say actually cruising, by the way, no pun intended. Now, to get past this guy, all you have to do is show your negative tests, your vaccination card, and your ID. And then we go through security. Uh, I have a cash. Low key, that part kind of felt like we were walking through TSA. They were so strict. It's like, can I just board, please? Just be careful about pictures now. Through security, here we go. It took about 15 minutes to get through that line. Up we go to check in. Hi, On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you? An 11. Whoa, I'm that's so pretty high. I haven't been on a cruise in years. It's gonna be really fun. Check in is a little bit busier from the last time we were here. It's going smoothly though, pretty smoothly. We just found out some cool information for you guys. Apparently, Royal's not really strict on the boarding time, even though they say online they are. They said you can come at anytime hopefully we just asked deborah and she's like you can board whenever so we're so about to go on I'm we're so boarding excited. early here we go independence of the seas we are ready for you we are ready to drink oh, yeah. all the chuggers <laughs> in the world give me a strawberry daiquiri give me a uh, long island to start maybe <laughs> i don't know i might be a mojito person on this cruise we are good to go <gasps> let's go up we go! It is cruise time! Can I get thumbs up on the video for finally cruising for the first time in like three months? I promise I will never go that long again without a cruise. I'm so pumped for this. Second time on this ship. Second time. Laura's about to step on board her first cruise in three years. I'm excited for you. Let's get this started, baby. The first step. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And vacation is I now. Started. Let's go. Okay. Gotta go to our mustard drill. Oh my god, you saw that? It smells like paradise. It smells like a cruise ship. I love it. Also, you don't have to wear masks at all. We're gonna go to our mustard drill real quick. I don't know where that is. We gotta get that out of the way. Our rooms probably aren't ready, but we do have a live stream coming up very soon in about an hour. So thanks for everybody who tuned in for that. And honestly, we didn't have to go too far because we are B7. If you're wondering how you check to see where your mustard drill is, it's on your seat pass. The iconic Royal Caribbean emblem, the logo. Let's go, baby! Now this cruise is going to be all about having Fun. Welcome to the Royal Promenade. It is good to be back. If I remember, I think we can sign up for the spa right here. Welcome, everybody. It's so good to be back. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Independence of the Seas. It's cruise time, baby. Let's go. Friday. Oh my gosh. Heck to the yeah! Go get some pizza, go get it. It is quite the party right now. Way more people. 
or first of many stops at Sorrento's. This is open, I believe, until midnight. It smells super good. This will be our drunk food. <laughs> We're gonna get drunk? What? Hi. We're gonna start out with two slices. Two One, slices. Two slices. Oh, we got a. Oh, they're still doing this. They're showing that it's cleaned and ready for us. Laura couldn't even wait for it to be filmed. She's that hungry. Look at that cheese. Our first food. Usually I have a drink before food. This is weird. I didn't even tell you guys. We have a balcony this time. Last time I had an interior promenade view. So we have a balcony. It's gonna be great. Sea view. Hopefully that's ready soon. What do you say it's time for our first drink? Let's do it. Well, let's get a drink. We are definitely having a full cruise for sure. Holy camoli. I mean, it is summer vacation. I can totally tell that there's actually way more kids on this ship than I think I've ever had before. Well, usually Disney cruises are like kids, but I see way more here now. Playmakers, first drink. Make sure you come a little Drink number one. And then a dirty Shirley, please. Y'all already know, I got my Long Island. What'd you get? I got a dirty Shirley. Cheers, baby. Cheers. It's gonna be a long cruise. One of many. <laughs> also, props royal on the plastic straws. Laura really hasn't cruised in a while. She's beating me. She's done. You know, I'm ready for this cruise. She's now. ready. <laughs> I'm ready. She's ready to sail away. <laughs> uh, we've only been on the ship for 20 minutes and I'm going for round two. Living her best life. Let's go. The solarium bar. We're in the adult section. Excited is uh, an understatement. Drink number two. I got my daiquiri. Mojito. And a daiquiri. It's going down. <laughs> it's going down. The rooms are open so early, it's about 11.40. All right, Independence of the Seas, I see you. Let's go check out our balcony uh, stateroom. I have a question. Are we doing stairs? No, we're not doing stairs. I mean... This was a huge debate on the Disney. Come on, we gotta do stairs. We gotta do stairs. We can't tap out early. We'll start now, but we're definitely changing to the We're starting on the stairs. If we're going down, that's fine. <laughs> Always a fun adventure finding your stateroom for the first time. Laura, this way. It's 7240, this way. We are struggling this way. I think we're all the way down this way. At least I'm hoping so. We're on the other side of the wind jammer, so unfortunately we have to work to get to our food in the morning. It's okay, we can use it. It's so sad. Hello. Hello. Look, you guys, uh, the hallways kind of smell like a light little fart. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest, the hallways kind of stink. A little stinky, I don't know if it's the luggage, but man, do they smell. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like farts. All right. Oh. We get to open our door every day to see this lady. Right here. We're, wait, we're 7240? Oh, we're over here? Yeah, I passed I it? I was just gonna see how far you were gonna go. All right, 7248, let's right. go! In we go. Maybe oh, not? Let's go! Oh, baby! Oh, they gotta split that bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the real, I don't think we're splitting this bed because it's actually ginormous. It's like a king bed. Thing's huge! Holy cow! Quick little scan before we get into some details about our balcony here. It's beautiful. It's actually got a lot of space. The only thing I think it needs to be updated is just this. You can kind of tell it's dated just with the little dresser here. I mean, the desk, but it does the job. Let's go to the bathroom. Yeah, go for it. Oh, I thought Laura's going to be your I'm tour guide. I'm moving your stuff. Oh, we need a... Oh, it actually did work. Here, a quick little look at our bathroom. It's very orange. Sorry about that. There we go. I changed the... The lighting for you guys. Our shower. Oh my god, like a teleportation ah. shower. It's bigger than normal. Bigger than I don't like it. You're used to Disney. You're a little spoiled. You're a little spoiled, Missy. I've been on one Disney cruise, Kyle. <laughs> Got our couch. I'll probably do a better room tour a little bit later. I'm kind of rushing just because we have a live stream soon. Um, yeah. Our bed. And our balcony. Heck yeah, baby. Oh, that was different. Interesting. Open. And this is why we, oh, this is a pretty big balcony, wow. We actually have a spacious room, by the way. It's a little bit bigger than the others. It's kind of like a deluxe, deluxe stateroom, but our balcony is a little bit smaller compared to the others, but this is pretty big. We can put a bed out here. Yeah, I can't wait to go out to see. We're gonna have a good view. First things first, I have to unpack. Otherwise I have too much anxiety on the ship. That is a must and 
gonna be going live streaming probably for about an hour and a half to two hours. So again, if you tuned in, thank you guys so much. This is our first cruise video of, I believe, four. So with that, let's unpack. Let's have some fun. I need another drink, oh my God. <laughs> Big little tip here, get this Tesson charger. You can actually bring this because it's not a surge protector and there's technically only two chargers in your room and this gives you a million. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon. Tesson, T-E-S-S-A-N. Out we go. Real quick, Laura and I, we're live right now on YouTube, so I uh, wanted to say hi to everybody. I'll get a haircut on the cruise. <laughs> we just hit 2,000 in the live stream. So exciting! We love you guys. Meet my friend at China Doll. She always is one of the first to comment on that's all so my cool. videos, all the time. That's because of Kyle, that's what made me decide to book this Royal Caribbean cruise. All his cruise vlogs motivated me to book one, so Let's I go. to try it. And I saw first... him live stream and I was like, wait, I know him. <laughs> we'll see you around. We'll see you around. Bye. We are still live. Laura's getting her first ice cream. Quick look at my plate here. This cruise ship is legit packed. Still live here, but there's a lot of people on this cruise. Summer cruising in 2022, expect a full crowd. A lot of people here. Quick look at everybody on a cruise. A lot of people, the busiest I think I've ever seen a cruise ship. Not. Thanks everybody who joined our stream. We got some drinks in honor. Yeah, my guy. We got some drinks in honor of all of you. It's time to leave. Let's go. Laura's luggage came. Let's go. And we are off. Sail away. Next stop. Where are we going first? <laughs> I don't even know. Cast Perfect away. day. Oh no. Perfect day. Perfect day. Perfect day. At Coco Cay. Coco Cay. We are in the ocean. <laughs> that is the ocean. No yeah. way. Can you believe it? We're on a cruise. Wow. In the ocean. We've got an action packed night tonight. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Well, we had the same idea as some other people. People are not happy. A long line for guest relations. What is going on? We just wanted to like check on our dinner reservations, but holy camoli. It's a long line. We're not doing that no more. We don't got time for that. We got time for drinks. Hey, let's go. <laughs> just learned that we are uh, 6.45 dining until nine. So we're gonna get some drinks. We're gonna go to the ice show. We're living our best lives. Laura got a dirty Shirley. It's like my fifth one of the trip. I, right? We're in the perfect spot because just one deck below is Studio B, ice skating. That's what we're gonna see tonight. There's so much. There's so many good shows on Royal Ships. Super excited. Laura hasn't seen this before. She is a newbie. Noob to the Royal Caribbean, I guess. Real quick, what do you guys think of uh, Laura's romper? I think it's fire. Look at that. Thank you, Kyle. She's got way better outfits than I do. I packed a lot of good ones. Follow her Instagram. What is your Instagram? I, the last post I have is like in April, but... Uh, our drinks are here! Thank you. Thank you, my guy. Let's do it. Thanks. Cheers, Laura. Cheers! It is time probably for my favorite show on the ship. We're about to go into Studio B. And if you guys are... Uh, Royal Caribbean regulars, you know. If you're not, it's time for an ice skating show. This is my first time seeing it. I'm super excited. Can't wait. Just a heads up, there is no longer reservations required to see shows here on board. You just show up. So the earlier you show up, the better seat you're gonna have. So we're show we're showing up pretty darn early. We are the first ones. <laughs> we are the first ones. I can't wait. Center, baby. Can't wait. I love the ice shows, the best show here on Royal Caribbean ship, so Without further ado, let's enjoy it. I'll show you guys my favorite spot. And it's to go this way, straight ahead. You get to go down on the ice, in a way. This is my favorite spot. Right there. And thankfully, there is no more social distancing as well. Most of the royal crew, I mean, sorry, all the royal crew, they have to wear face masks. Not us. I kind of feel bad for them. Hopefully that'll be soon. 
But without further ado, let's enjoy the show. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see something wild. Whoa. There. Oh my gosh. Holy camoli. Yikes. Let's go, dude. Here we go. Freeze frame is great. It was we, a really good show. We both have to pee really bad. Yeah, we do. Freeze frame! Freeze frame! <laughs> I have to pee. <laughs> and now it's time for dinner. Let's eat. Let's flip and eat. I'm so hungry. Is this hand sanitizer? Yeah. I'll take some. That's it new. It is real. Fun. Wow. All of us have fun. All right. Bah. Bah. <laughs> We have my time dining. We're on floor three. We are on floor three, deck three. I can't wait to have my shrimp cocktail. I cannot wait to eat more than half my body weight. Same, welcome to crew. So hungry. So we are so hungry. <laughs> and Chef drink. Kyle's kiss. That was disgusting. That was too close. Laura and I are still discovering that it's still sunny out. It's 7:45, and we still see the sun. Cool. Yeah, it literally feels like it's like 10 p.m., but. It's sunny. Wow. Whoa. So unfortunately right now we cannot eat because we have any time dining, which is sort of kind of unfortunate, but it is a very packed cruise. Maybe with um, any, any time dining, you guys should probably not get, but uh, I'm, here. I'm here to make mistakes for you guys. Do not get any time dining. Get a time where you guys can actually come here and dine because we have to wait about an hour now. I guess we'll just drink, shall we? This cruise ship is uh, pa -pa 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 packed. I have not been on a more packed cruise than this. We are learning as we're going. We need to pick a dining time. Have a dining sure. time, holy cow. We have to wait 45 minutes, I'm so hungry. I wanted my shrimp cocktail. It's okay, the shrimp cocktail will wait for you. It's, <laughs> it's a little bit breezy out here. Holy cow, we're in the storm. Look it's at the beautiful hurricane. sunset! We thought it was dark out, but it's not. It's so breezy. Oh, there's water everywhere! Whoa, I don't know how we'll ever survive. Oh my gosh, wait, the bar's closed. Ah, oh, shoot. What are we going to do? Oh, wait, the other one. We'll find one open. We will find a bar! Come on, Pool bar! Our drinks came in like one second. They had these pre made. Still really good. Miami Vice. And a strawberry yeah. daiquiri. Came in like two seconds. You'll uh, notice the trend too. I'm yeah. <laughs> <Ryan> complaining. <laughs> we are following Laura. Dolores knows where to go. Can I call you Dolores? Dolores, I uh. guess. I mean, I have like 12 nicknames at this point. Dolores. Holy cow, there's a lot of people here. I'm gonna cry, I'm so hungry. This, this is crazy. Holy cow, I wanna cry. Oh my gosh, I haven't I have not seen cruising like this ever before in my life. Royal Caribbean, what is going on? This is legit horrible. Awesome Royal Caribbean. This is what it is. Do not make this mistake. Do not get my time dining. This is actually horrible. It's not dining on my time. Yeah, this line is not moving. People, People are not happy. People are not bad. happy. People are not happy. Well, because we waited 45 minutes already and they told yeah. us to come back and they said, oh, you can skip the line when you get here. And then they put us in an even longer line when we got here. Should oh, we get pizza? Kind of I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I feel like it's going to be like a half hour. I think the biggest problem that we're running into right now is that they told us to come back at 8.30 and we would be able to skip the line that we're in right now. It's just a bunch of miscon like information. So that's why we're a little bit disappointed. You know, we know there's a lot of people on here, so it is what it is, but we're here to just like tell you guys what's going on. To be very fair and non-biased because I'm hungry, I think there's just so many people on the ship that it's really hard to kind of juggle. I've never seen a cruise ship like this where every seat is like completely full. So I totally understand cruising in summertime, expect what we are experiencing. It's actually, Chaos. 
it's like Walt Disney World, but on another level because we're all in like the same ship. It is nuts. So expect exactly what we're going through right now. It is insane. It is literally insane. <laughs> I've never seen a cruise ship more packed. Summer, expect exactly this. Well, in a roundup, we kind of never thought this would happen on a Royal Caribbean cruise. We didn't really expect this. Partly, it's kind of our fault because we're anytime. Don't know if it's any better with reservations, but we've waited a good, like, two hours to kind of get sat here. So, uh, learn from our mistakes and maybe get what? reservations because this was this was not it. Avoid my time dining, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Definitely avoid this. The other decks with dining are, like, empty. And ours is the only one, and everyone's, like, throwing a fit. So. It took a while. So, um, I mean, we're here for you guys to learn from our mistakes. We're happy to finally be dining. And uh, we're going to be eating, so just learn from our mistakes. Hopefully we're going to be eating. Hopefully. Jesus, <laughs> man. Good gosh. Gee golly. About an hour and a half to two hours later, we are finally dining. Finally dining. This, this cruise is packed. I've legit never experienced anything like this before on a royal ship, so here we are. Finally. Finally. I'm going to take an anti-pasti, a shrimp cocktail. We're gonna pick out. We're gonna do a New York strip. For reference, our server Tony just told us that it's the fourth seating at this table. A very packed cruise is what we're experiencing. Well, 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 we've got a rather small shrimp cocktail. We've got four pieces of shrimp, but let's see how she tastes. Mighty good, Royal. Mighty good. Never have gotten anti pasty before. It looks like a shakuri board. We'll try it. Looks great. Cheese, yummy. And our entrees have arrived. I've got a medium rare New York strip. Now I will tell you the the steak is a little bit overcooked. It's more medium than a medium rare. Doing. Taste test is good. Taste test is good. Thank you. It's just a little bit overcooked for a medium rare with a butter on top. Delish. And then some cheesecake for the mighty dessert. That's good. I feel like cheese, uh, sorry, desserts on cruise ships are just like the naughtiest of them all. Whew. Dinner was good. But um, be prepared to wait a while if you have the crowds that we do. For real. It's great. Oh. Well, everybody, as you can see, we are in for the night. Laura oh, is sleeping in her cardigan. No, I'm not. I'm just cold. We will see you guys tomorrow on day number two here on the Independence of the Seas. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. We'll probably go around the ship off camera, but we'll see you guys tomorrow um, when we're at Perfect Day. I was about Perfect to say, day. I'm not going to bed. Laura's first day at Coco Cay. Yeah, that kind of rhymes. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.